Hello everyone, I'm Sarah and welcome or welcome back to my crochet channel. Today's video we're going to be updating my Silly Pumpkin beanie hat. This is a wonderful pattern. The only thing about it is it is not considered a easy pattern. It is more on the lines of a easy or moderate pattern, but not hard. And the reason is we're going to be doing three rows of front post double crochet repeats. They're not hard. If you know how to do a front post double crochet, it'll be a piece of cake for you. Maybe even a piece of pumpkin pie. <laughs> so on today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the hat itself. I put a little button. It's just sitting there. But you can add some embellishments to it if you want to. This hat will fit about a 22 to 24 inch head. But if you want the hat to be just a little bit smaller, say you have a 19 or 20 inch head, you can always go down a hook size or two and it'll tighten up those stitches for you. It's a super fun hat to make. It's super fun to wear. And you can find all the instructions with stitch counts and also the instructions for the facial features on my blog. And as always, I'll put that blog link down in the notes underneath this video. Now, as far as the facial features that are on the Silly Pumpkin hat, in two days, I'm going to do a video to show you how to make all those facial features and you can use them for more than just a pumpkin hat. You could put them on a headband, a handbag, a scarf, or maybe a bag to take trick-or-treating. All right, so be looking for that in two days. But today, we're going to make the Silly Pumpkin hat itself. To make our pumpkin hat, you're going to need about four and a half ounces of an orange bulky yarn. And I'm using, I love this chunky, this is from Hobby Lobby. And then I'm using this green, this is also, I love this chunky from Hobby Lobby. And you're going to need about four and a half ounces of the orange. And you're going to need about two ounces of the green. We're going to, of course, make the body of the hat out of the orange. And then the trim and the stem and little curl out of this green. So today we're going to be just making the hat. And then the next video, I'm going to show you how to make a, uh, several different types of facial features. If you want it to look like a jack-o'-lantern or a silly pumpkin. And you can use those facial features on anything from a scarf to a bag to a hat like this one. All right. So today we're just doing the hat itself that is the pumpkin hat. We're going to be stitching today with our K-hook which is a 6.50 millimeter crochet hook. We're going to be needing a needle just for weaving in and, and then our scissors. Now, if you would like to choose some buttons or some embellishments for this hat, you certainly can. But for today, we're just making the hat itself. So we're going to begin with our slip knot and we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to join this chain five into a circle. So we'll put the tail of yarn over our hook, pull it through that loop, and then snug that down and tie our stay knot. Now, if you prefer to start with the magic circle, that's totally fine. I just prefer this method for this project. We're going to put our hook in that chain five, pull up a loop, and chain three. This chain three will count as one double crochet, and we're going to stitch 11 more double crochets. Yarn over, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through the first two, yarn over and go through the next two loops. So we have our chain three and one double crochet, so I need to stitch 10 more, so we have a total of 12. And you'll also notice that I am stitching over my tail of yarn. That way I can close up that hole really easily. All right, let's see how many I've stitched. Here's my chain three that counts as my first, so one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. I'm going to join to my chain 3 with a slip stitch and chain 3. Now we can turn this over and gently pull that tail of yarn and go ahead and weave this end in. You can do it later if you want to. I just like to go ahead and take care of it. Then I don't have to worry about it again. So I'm just going to weave this in so it doesn't come undone. Going back and forth. So we have 12 double crochets. We join to our chain 3 with a slip stitch and chained 3. And that's how row 1 should look. All right, let's do row two. We've chained three and it counts as one double crochet. Now we're going to stitch over this first stitch and we're going to stitch in the front post. We normally put our stitches up here. We're going to yarn over, go around the post of the stitch and stitch a double crochet. That's called a front post double crochet. Now we're going to go in the next stitch and stitch in the top. And then we're going to stitch a front post around that next stitch. And so the way row two works is we'll double crochet in that next stitch and then front post double crochet around the post of that same stitch. So we're stitching in the regular spot of our double crochet and then we're stitching a front post double crochet around that stitch. The post of the stitch is down here. So we stitch a double crochet where we normally stitch and then we stitch a front post double crochet around that post of that stitch. And see how that looks? We have a double crochet, front post double crochet, double crochet, front post double crochet. All right, so there's my front post double crochet. I'm going to double crochet in that next stitch and then front post double crochet around the post of that same stitch. And we'll continue this working all the way around and join back to our chain three. So I continued this repeat on around, stitching double crochet front post. You're going to have 12 double crochets and 12 front post double crochets. Here's my last front post. We're going to join to the top of that chain three and chain three. And this is how row two should look. All right, let's do row three. So on row three, we joined and we chained three. Now we're going to front post around both of these two stitches. So yarn over, front post around the regular double crochet, then front post around the front post double crochet. Now we're going to double crochet in that next stitch. Then we'll front post double crochet around these two stitches. And so basically what we're doing is we're going to double crochet in the top of this next stitch. And then we're going to front post double crochet around the post of that same stitch more yarn out here and then we're going to front post double crochet around the front post double crochet and so what we're doing here 
is we're having a double crochet and two front post double crochets. Double crochet and two front post double crochets. All right, so we're going to double crochet up at the top here where we usually double crochet in the next stitch here. There we go. And then we're going to front post double crochet around that double crochet and then front post double crochet around the front post double crochet. So we have a double crochet and two front post double crochets. There we go. And that's how row three will work. Double crochet in the top of the next double crochet and then front post double crochet around that same stitch and front post double crochet around the next, which is a front post double crochet. So again, we have a double crochet and two front post, double crochet and two front post. And then we'll repeat this working all the way around for row three. I have completed round three. We have 24 front post double crochets and 12 double crochets. So that gives us 36 stitches. I'm going to join to the chain three and chain three. And that's the way that row three should look. All right, so for row or round four, here is our chain three, which counts as our double crochet. We're going to front post around this first stitch, front post double crochet. Then we're going to front post double crochet around the two front post double crochet stitches. So we'll have three front post double crochet stitches. Now we're going to double crochet in the next stitch that is a double crochet. And then we're going to stitch three foundation double crochets. We'll stitch one around the double crochet and then one around the next two front post double crochets. So now we have a double crochet and three front post double crochets. And that's our repeat for row or round four. Double crochet in that double crochet then front post double crochet around the front post of that same stitch. And then one front post double crochet around the next two front post double crochets. Double crochet in that double crochet. Front post double crochet around that double crochet stitch the front post of that double crochet stitch, and then one front post double crochet around the next two. One and two. All right, so <clears throat> we've increased each row. We had one front post, then we had two, and now we have three front post double crochet stitches with our double crochet in between those groups of three. All right. Let's do another repeat just so that you see how to do that again. Here's our double crochet. So we're going to stitch a double crochet in the top of that double crochet where we usually stitch. Then we're going to front post double crochet around the post of that double crochet stitch. Then we'll stitch a front post double crochet around the two front post double crochets. And that's our repeat for row four. And we'll repeat this working all the way around and join back to our chain three. So this is how the top of your hat should look at row four. You have 36 foundation double crochets and you have 12 double crochets. So 36 and 12 is 48 stitches. 
Now we're going to do row five, and it's a little bit different. We're not going to be increasing our front post double crochets anymore. We're going to have three on uh, in sections of three on every row. All right, so our chain three counts is our first. We're going to double crochet in the same stitch at the top where we normally double crochet so that we have two together. Then we'll stitch one front post double crochet in each of those three front post double crochets. That brings us to our regular double crochet and we're going to stitch two regular double crochets in that double crochet stitch. And then this brings us to our three, our next three front post double crochets. So we'll stitch one front post double crochet in each of those front post double crochets. And so this is the way that the repeat is going to work for row or round five. We're going to stitch two regular double crochets in that regular double crochet. Then we'll stitch one front post double crochet in each of the three front post double crochets. Two double crochets in our regular double crochet, one and two, and then one front post double crochet in those three front post double crochets. And that is the way that the repeat will work for row or round five. And again, we'll join back to our chain three. This is how that your hat is going to look after round five. You're going to have 36 front post double crochets, and then you're going to have 24 regular double crochets because we did repeats of two and three. And so now we're not going to be doing any more increase stitches. And so for round six, we're going to just stitch one double crochet in each of the two double crochets and then one front post double crochet in each of the three. All right, so our chain three counts is one, so we'll go to the next double crochet and stitch a double crochet. Then we'll go to those front posts and stitch one front post double crochet in each of those three. That brings us to those two double crochets. So we'll stitch one double crochet in each of those two. And so we're not increasing at all. We're just stitching the same. One front post double crochet in each of those three. and then one regular double crochet in those two double crochets. And so because we're not increasing anymore, we're going to start forming the sides of our pumpkin hat. And remember, this hat is a loose fitting hat to make it comfortable and fun. All right, so I'm just gonna continue working around one double crochet in the two double crochets, one front post double crochet in each of the three front post double crochets. And I'll repeat this working around. One thing you will notice is that your hat is going to start to curl. And that's exactly what we want it to do because we're gonna start forming the sides of our hat. I have completed round six we didn't do any increases. We stitched one double crochet in each of those two and one front post double crochet in each of those three and repeat all the way around. So again, we have 36 front post double crochets and 24 regular double crochets. That gives us 60 stitches. And so now what we're going to do is, we're, this is round or row six, 
And what we're going to do is we're going to repeat row six for 12 more rows. All right, so to complete the sides of our hat, we're going to repeat row six, which is what we just did for 12 more rows. I have completed those 12 additional rows with the two double crochets and three front post double crochets. I joined to my chain three, but I'm not going to chain three. I'm going to cut my yarn. So I'm going to bring in my green, snug everything down, and for this row, which is row 19, we're just going to stitch a single crochet in each stitch around. And this is going to bring it in a little, give it a nice look. And I like using the green on the edge. So one single crochet, go in, pull up a loop, yarn over, go through both loops. That's your single crochet. We're stitching one single crochet in each of those stitches working all the way around the bottom edge of our pumpkin hat. I have stitched one single crochet with my green yarn all the way around my hat. I'm going to join to my first single crochet and chain one. And now I'm just going to repeat this for two more rows. One single crochet in each stitch around and we'll do this for two more rows so we'll have three rows of green single crochet for our trim so one single crochet in each stitch around join to our first single crochet chain one and repeat. I stitched those two more rows and so we have three rows of our green single crochet so we have a nice edge on our pumpkin hat. I joined to my first single crochet. We're going to cut our yarn. We're going to go in that next loop and pull that loop to the inside. That way we can tie that off and it'll look nice and pretty. Then we'll just grab our needle and we're going to have a little bit of weaving in to do. We have to weave in here, also where we joined our next uh, ball of yarn in. So I'll take a few minutes and weave these ends in and then I'll show you real quick how to make the stem and the curl that goes on the top of our silly pumpkin hat. We're going to start with the stem portion first. So we're going to start with a slip knot and I want you to start with a little bit of a tail, 10 or 12, doesn't even need to be that long, eight inches. We're gonna use that to attach it to the hat. All right, so let's chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to place a single crochet in the second chain from the hook. So we'll go in, pull up a loop, yarn over and go through both loops. And then we'll single crochet in each of those remaining chains. All right, so that is the stem of our pumpkin. And now we're going to make the curl. So we're going to chain 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're going to make our curl by stitching three single crochets in each of the chains. So we're going to start in the second chain from the hook and stitch three single crochets. One, two, three. Now we'll go to the next chain. One, two, and three. Go to the next chain. One, two, three. And you can see it's already starting to curl. And so we'll place three single crochets in each chain till we reach back to the stem. So I finished going around my curl, stitching three single crochets in each chain 
till I reach back to my stem. And now what we're going to do is cut our yarn and tie that off. And we're going to use these two strands to attach this to our hat. All right, so we're going to grab our stem and our little curl. We'll take our hook. We're gonna go right up next to where we started and grab one side of that tail of yarn. And then we'll go to the other side and grab the other one and pull that to the inside. All right, so now I'm going to turn this wrong side out and tie this nice and secure. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I left this string on this one where I finished my circle. And it's a good idea to go ahead and leave that string because I like to tie the three of them together. I don't know why, I just think it makes it a nice, even, um, secure knot. And I tie one and then two. And that's going to keep that from coming undone and keep your stem and your curl from coming undone. All right, and so there is the top with your stem and your cute little curl. And it's up to you on your hat, which is your front and which is your back. Isn't that adorable? I think it's just cute as can be. So here's our completed pumpkin hat. We've made the little curl in the stem, attached it to the top, and our pumpkin with our green trim. You may notice right here my pumpkin looks a little darker. Even though I matched my lot numbers on my yarn, this one is a little darker. But I don't care, I still love it. And if you're not going to make any facial features, it's a good idea to maybe add some cute buttons. Here's a little scarecrow, maybe a sparkly leaf, maybe a green star to contrast with the green, or maybe just a pumpkin hat, or maybe a, or a pumpkin, not a pumpkin hat, <laughs> or maybe just all of them. Just have some fun and add some detail if you want to. Now remember, on Friday, today is Wednesday, so two days from today, I'm going to be showing you how to make all those different types of features that you can add to this pumpkin hat or to a scarf, a bag, or anything that you want to have a silly face.